I call Scott Simpson. Mr Speaker, as a member of the Health Select Committee, it's a pleasure to take this final uh, split call on the second reading of the Psychoactive Substances Bill. The uh, bill is being sponsored by new Associate Health Minister Todd McClay, but in my opening comments I'd like to congratulate and uh, give credit to the Honourable Peter Dunn for his work in uh, preparing this bill to uh, bring to the House and for the uh, credible way in which he has developed it so that it represents a new and revolutionary way of addressing the pernicious dangers of so-called legal highs. This bill, as Peter Dunn said in his uh, uh, speech earlier on, in this debate will be a game changer in the way that we regulate party pills and other so-called legal highs. Sir, I support this bill and I congratulate both Peter Dunn and Todd McClay for bringing it to the House. The bill regulates psychoactive substances or legal highs so that substances have to be proved low risk before they can be sold and cleaning up the legal high industry is part of this government's drive to deliver better public services and this bill is all about safety, human safety, sir. New Zealanders deserve to know that products available to them are safe and that they're not being put in harm's way with untested, risky, unknown substances. The cost of testing these substances will also be borne by the manufacturers rather than the taxpayer. And so this bill, sir, will seamlessly replace the current temporary class drug notice regime that has until now worked reasonably effectively, but this new bill, uh, when it becomes law, will change that and replace it with a whole new level, uh, unknown in other uh, places in the world, so we'll be a world leader. This bill includes provisions to establish a regulatory authority within the Ministry of Health, and part of their job will be to consider and approve or decline psychoactive substances. They will be required to issue a manufacturing code of practice. They will issue importation, manufacturing and sales licenses. And they will conduct post-marketing monitoring to audit and recall product if necessary. New Zealand has faced, uh, sir, an acceleration in development of these new recreational drugs. They are all over the place, and they're in dairies and supermarkets and dreadful places, uh, 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 dreadful products they are being sold over the counter all over the country at the moment. So the regulatory authority uh, established by the bill will consider and approve or decline psychoactive substances, and they will assess the toxicological and clinical data for each product. But even if products meet that standard, the government will still be insisting, sir, that tight controls are in place around their availability. And so from the day that this bill is enacted, neighbourhood dairies will no longer be allowed to stock any such products and nor will sales to those aged under 18 be permitted. The bill has, to a large degree, been um, uh, hijacked, if I can put it that way, by the issue of animal testing. And whilst everybody, I think, would uh, accept and understand that animal testing is an issue, uh, and most people, probably all people, feel pretty strongly about it, the bill provides that if there are suitable non-animal tests, then they must and will be used. This bill is a response to the harm caused by untested products and countervailing consideration here is human safety. And I think that's a, a fact that we should not lose sight of. One of the things that interests me is that in the committee stages of the uh, bill, we had a unanimous uh, uh, approval for a what I thought was a very uh, uh, sensible approach. Uh, Labor members bought into that, and it seems to me that that uh, their science spokesman, one David Shearer, seems to have been rolled now by a faction within the Labour Party to have changed what is a very sensible piece of science and to have turned it into an animal rights issue, which is detracting from the big picture here, which is the harm and injury being done to mostly our young people. And so, despite Labour members all being in favour of it, including Annette King, to vote for that compromise, it seems now that a faction within Labour has rolled David Shearer, their science spokesman, and for a serious mainstream political party to have been put in that position, sir, is clearly very worrying. This is a good bill. I support it. I commend it to the House. It's good legislation. Members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. For the contrary, no.
the eyes have it. Psychoactive Substances Bill, second reading. The Psychoactive Substances Bill is set down for committee stage presently. Call on Government Orders of the Day, numbers 11 to 18. Legal Assistance Amendment Bill.